So, I need to paint the basement gray. I'm really tired of this beige, and there's a whole bunch of little things here and there, as you can see, that needed sanding. But this isn't about that. This is about the door. So you'll notice that I have a little bit of sanding and painting to do. And I've decided I'm going to keep this white, but check this out. Ah, door opens, and that is because of this little sensor right here. Now, it's only on one side because, you know, when you're playing a game or watching a movie, you don't want the door to just be triggered and all of a sudden open. Uh, the sensor used to be up here where all that battle damage is, but I didn't like the way the housing stuck out, so I ended up taking the sensor outside of the housing and then placing it just on the other side there. So I've taken the emblem off the door because it's a lot easier to paint it this way versus being on the door. In fact, it would have been a lot easier to paint the door before hanging it up, but I was concerned that the gear wouldn't line up with the gear on the motor and I would have trouble. So to put my mind at ease, I went ahead and just put the door up, made some adjustments as you can see, and I'm happy to report that everything is working just fine. So now it's finally, finally time to start painting. And the first step to that is to put this in manual override. That way I can manually pull the door out and not have to worry about it sliding back in while I'm trying to paint. I'll go ahead and get started with the emblem. Seems like the easiest place to start. So first I'll put black on the sides and the inside parts. Then I'll finish it up with the empire red on the top surface. So I went around the outer edge and was careful. Then upon doing the inner edge, I started to get sloppy. So then I just said it and just went ahead and just not cared about how sloppy it was getting. And trust me, it gets sloppy. In fact, this might be the sloppiest paint job that I have ever done. It's a miracle, a Christmas miracle that, uh, that this thing turned out well in the end. The sloppiness is real. So now I've moved on to the door and I find it to be tedious and, oh no, <clears throat> uh, soothing. Uh, therapeutic would be a word I would use for the process. Um, yeah. But seriously though, I gotta say with this whole project, the door, the walls, everything, there were times when doubt crept in and I thought, man, I, I'm in over my head. What have I done? But there was more of a push to continue, you know, to keep going forward. And I think part of it was just, I wanted to see how this would look in the end. I just, you know how you have that vision in your mind and you just, you know you can do it. You just, going through some tough times, like the time when I pulled the entire wall down to get the pocket door in. Oh, I can't tell you how discouraging that was, but I just sat back, took a chill pill. Well, I didn't, I didn't that's a saying, I didn't take any, I didn't take any pills. I did have plenty of liquor though. <clears throat> well, anyway, you just have to sit back and just reevaluate and push on, you know, push on, just, force yourself to continue and you may even find a solution to the problem by going forward and don't be afraid to just kind of start over on some things you know um, if that fails you know if you don't want to start over you know or you feel like you can't you're at a point of no return um, just get a match or a lighter and some lighter fluid uh, burn the whole thing down and collect the uh, collect the insurance and go get a new place and start over Wait, I, huh? I can't. Oh, uh, no, don't do that. Sorry. Sorry, that was... I mean, that, I thought it was good advice, but evidently, no, that is not good advice. No, just... I guess what I'm trying to say is keep pushing on. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah. Keep going. Just keep going. Okay, so now that I'm done with the Empire side, I can move on to the Rebel Alliance side. 
Okay, so so far I've gone through and tried the technique where you smear on some black, you know, watered down black paint and then wipe it off with a cloth. It, would, it was kind of successful. Then I went back over it with the white paint and this is what I'm left with. So now I'm thinking I probably need to go in painstakingly with a smaller paintbrush and the black watered down black paint and just go in and kind of kind of work on the crevices and, and everything and make that pop out. I'm also thinking about using a gray, kind of like the same gray I used on the walls, but have it severely watered down and just kind of dab it on in places just to make it look a little bit like it's uh, metal or something. Worst comes to worst, if it really looks crappy, I'll just go over this side with that same gray color and maybe use the technique of the, um, the marker pen, one of those uh, testers uh, acrylic marker pens that has the silver and then just do the technique um, of, you know, kind of drawing on the scratches on the edges. I'm, I'm actually leaning more towards that, which kind of defeats the purpose of it being the, uh, the Rebel Alliance side of things. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might have to do both of those techniques yet, just go with a lighter gray instead of the dark gray. Yeah, that'll kind of separate them out. Kind of the same gray that's on the walls. Those bare, clean canvas of a wall. Oh, look how clean they are. Yep, you're gonna have to get some Greeblies and things on those. Okay, so that's it for this week. I think next week uh, I'm gonna focus on a new structure, which will go in that area and possibly some new stuff that goes on this wall and this wall. See, I've been given, let me back up a little bit. I've been given basically from this wall on this way. So I'm slowly, slowly moving into the rest of the basement, but man, wife has not given in. But just happy to have this much and the room, so beggars can't be choosers. All right, see you guys soon. <laughs>